Okay, here's a brief tutorial on how to do better Google searches. All right. Normally what people do is they come into Google and they type in whatever their particular term is, let's say civil liberties. If you have my civil liberties course, this is perfect for you. And then they'll just do Google search. You just got 9,970,000 results for civil liberties. All right, that's way too many. So what you could do instead is if you go back to the Google page, click on this little link right here called advanced search. And what we're going to look at right now is how to do three things in advanced search. How to start narrow, how to use an exact phrase, and how to use similar pages to get very specific results. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at for is we're going to find web pages that have all of these words. So we know we want to have civil liberties. All right, but that's too broad. That got us 10 million results. So we want to add and take away a few key terms. Um, what you want to do is think quickly about what else am I looking for besides just civil liberties. So let's say you need to know about the amendments that civil liberties come from. All right, that's part of one of my assignments. So we'll use that as an example. So we would type in amendments in there. So now we have civil liberties plus amendments in our search result or in our search bar. Let's do the advanced search. What are our results? We're down to three million. So that's about a third, okay? Let's say you look through these results and you notice that the same types of words keep coming up over and over again, like ACLU comes up and issues comes up and let's say press and um, there's news. But we don't really want all that stuff. What we really wanted was just a list of amendments that, that um, have civil liberties in them. So what we can do is based on those search results that we just had, we're going to leave out unwanted words. So let's leave out ACLU. Let's leave out news. Let's leave out issues, press. All those things that we saw, that we maybe just, they have nothing to do with the amendments. Okay? And we'll click advanced search. And we're down to 363,000. Okay? Which is, what is that, a few percent of the 10 million that we originally came up with. All right, so that's how you make your search narrow. You put in your original phrase that you're interested in, put in one, at least one keyword that you're interested in, besides that, or, uh, that main phrase, and then when you get some results, take out words that you know are of no value to your final results. All right, that takes a little practice to do, but it's um, pretty easy after a few tries to get used to doing it like that. All right, so let's take a look at another type of Google uh, advanced search. These, this is when you use an exact wording or phrase. So most times when we get, go into Google, we just plug in whatever the main term that we're looking for is. Let's say Cancun. Cancun is another, I teach another class called uh, travel, travel and Tourism. We look at Cancun. All right, so we plug in Cancun, we get 45 million result, results. You know, that's way too many. You can't, that's just not specific enough. Okay, so let's go back. And instead of just putting in Cancun, let's ask ourselves, what do we really want to know about Cancun? And then we'll put that in the exact wording or phrase. So for this particular case, let's say what we really want to know is a, vac is a, a vacation to Cancun. We don't want to know about Cancun in general. We want to know about taking a vacation there. So all of a sudden, we put that in the exact wording or phrase. We get quotation marks around it. That means it's going to search for that exact phrase. Okay. So what are the results when we search for exact phrase vacation to Cancun? 21,000 results, down from 45 million. That's awesome. Okay, so we can be even more specific. So we can take the exact phrase and then we can make it even more narrow and add, let's say, we want to think of some fun activities to do when we're taking our vacation to Cancun. Click Advanced Search. Okay, now I'm down to 4,000. That's great. Okay, so let's say 4,000 is still quite a bit. Um, but, you know, we're getting closer and closer. But we, we decided to click on a few, and we noticed that we, we really like this one, vacationcancun.net. So let's take this URL. And let's say, I really like this, but I was going through it, and it still doesn't have one or two things that I need. Maybe if I find another page that's almost just like this, it'll have exactly what I need. We go back to Google Search, uh, Google Advanced Search, and you'll want to scroll down about halfway down the page where it says date, usage rights, numeric range, and more pop that window open, and what we're going to do is we're going to find similar pages. This is the third thing I wanted to talk about. So we know that we like that vacationcancun.net link, but it's just not doing it all for us. We need a few more pages exactly like that, maybe slight twist on it, hit search, 
Now I'm down to 26 results. These 26 results are all about taking a vacation to Cancun and activities that I can do while I'm there. So then I'll pop open a couple more. All right. So what we just looked at, oops, is how to do uh, a Google advanced search using three techniques, starting narrow, which is using the with or the without words. Um, using an exact phrase, which is when you type something into this exact phrase and you get quotation marks around it, and doing similar page searches. Hope you all learned a little bit more about Google Advanced Search, and thank you for listening.